Am I the asshole? For making my friend leave my house after she disrespected my beliefs? Genuinely wish I wasn't having to deal with this idiocy right now but my friend Emily is getting other people involved. We are both 18f in our last year of sixth form. I'm Muslim and observing Ramadan. Every year I'm allowed to invite some of my friends over for if to the meal at sunset and we always have fun. I usually mostly invite my other Muslim friends. This year I decided to invite everyone on Monday evening. It's still Easter break and some of my other friends including Emily had expressed that they wanted to join the iftar too so I invited them. I prepped the non-Muslim friends about what to expect at our iftar including that we would go to pray shortly after sunset and would then have the main meal. I told them that it's disrespectful to walk in front of someone praying and to disturb us and that it can even break our prayer and we would have to start again. Okay so. Monday evening comes. We have some snacks and the Muslims go to pray. According to my other friends, Emily said she was going to the loo which is next to the prayer room. What I know is that suddenly the prayer room door opened, there was loud music and she started dancing in front of the room. I left my prayer, called her a cab and admittedly yelled at her calling her disrespectful and to leave my house and get out. My parents are furious at me because of her actions. Emily thinks I've overreacted to a prank, she even had her parents call me and berate me and she's telling all the people that weren't at the IFTA that I threw her out of my house over a joke. Everyone who was there is with me but our other friends have taken her side. Not the asshole. After having it explained to her how important the prayer was to you guys, why would she even think it was okay to do a prank during the prayer? Honestly, you might be better off if this friendship dissolves. I'm guessing your religion is important to you, so do you really want to be friends who has such a disregard for your religion? I would make certain everyone knew the full details of what she did. Yes, she pulled a prank. My entire family was in the middle of prayer and she burst into the room, blasting music and dancing. I sent her home and was then berated by my parents for inviting her to our home. If they ask, go into detail. If not, at least they have the full truth. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. If she's getting other people involved to pressure you into apologizing, and her parents think it's acceptable to harass a teenager over the phone, then I think you need to get your head of sixth form involved. It's totally unacceptable that an 18-year-old not only doesn't know not to disrespect other people's faith, but doesn't even have the humility to accept that her joke backfired and try to make amends. Would she suddenly blast music and dance if she was in a group of people with their heads bowed in a Christian prayer? She knew exactly how offensive she was being. Mocking a solemn religious service isn't a funny prank. It's just mocking a solemn religious service. Not a prank nor funny. She's probably not being honest about what happened because most people have the ability to understand that you shouldn't mock people during a serious moment. Not the asshole at all. Emily is not a friend and her prank was in extremely poor taste. Ignore her parents, they're a large part of the reason why she is the way she is. Not the asshole. You don't play pranks when people are praying your friend is the R. Would she go into a church with a boomer box? Not the asshole I'm a freaking atheist and think all religions are not but I would never show such disrespect to a friend. Not the asshole. Wow. There's no excusing a prank of this sort. That's a seriously high level of disrespect. She can't have been friends with you for long enough to get invited to this to not know that it's something she should respect. It was not a joke it was almost literally shoving her middle finger in your face. Jokes are meant to be funny. What she did was extremely rude and disrespectful. Not the asshole. Her parents berated you? They didn't think to call and apologize for their daughter's boorish behavior? Well, the knot doesn't fall far from the tree. Not the asshole I feel mortified for you and she should be ashamed of herself. You invited her to a special occasion for your religion and she absolutely disrespected not just you but your entire household. She owes you a massive apology. 
not the arsehole from one Muslim to another you need better friends. May your rest of Ramadan be peaceful sister. Not the arsehole your house, your rules. Not to mention that the gathering was for the iftar and she manages to do the one thing you told her not to do during that time. This was a prank played in poor taste and it sounds like you'd be better off without Emily's friendship. Would she find it acceptable to interrupt a church service in the same way? I'm sure your parents would have some choice words for Emily and her parents. Not the asshole. You specifically mentioned what is offensive to you and your religion, and she purposely did it. Not the asshole. Pranks are silly goofs where everyone laughs later, they're not bigoted jokes where an entire religious group is mocked. Emily is not a friend. Not the asshole. Emily fucked around and found out. Not the asshole. What is wrong with this girl? Not the asshole. This person is clearly not a friend. Not the asshole, you explained what she could expect and she was incredibly disrespectful of your religion. It's a privilege for someone to invite a non-religious friend to something like Ifta and she's disrespected you and your religion in the name of a prank which isn't remotely funny. Not the asshole. I'm not religious at all, but damn that is disrespectful. Not the asshole. There is a time and place for joking around. Right in the middle of someone's religious ceremony is not it. Especially when you've explained the situation. She is not your friend. I swear I am getting radicalized on this issue prank culture needs to die. I say immediately cut ties with anybody who pulls even the mildest of pranks. Pass law to exile all pranksters to prankster island, where they can make each other miserable. But in all seriousness, not the asshole, you told her not to disturb you and she intentionally did, just to prank you. Nataba Temily is. And I hope your mum doesn't blame you. Not the asshole. I don't care who you are. She has shown that she cannot be respectful toward you or your family. She also has zero respect for you if she thought this was a good prank to pull. You are absolutely not the asshole. I'm not sure what kind of prank includes disrupting and disrespecting a religious practice, but it's not a funny one. You were kind enough to call her a cap home which is more than I would have done, and if all you truly said to her before she left is what you posted, then you did absolutely nothing wrong. She is TA and you should end that friendship. Her parents are also TA for allowing perpetuating her behavior. Not the asshole. I have some Muslim friends and from what I understand, Ramadan is a very solemn event of very high importance and must be observed correctly. What she did was very short-sighted in mocking others' beliefs. Not the asshole that's not the time or place for pranks. Not the asshole. You explained the traditional and she thought it would be funny to disrespect you. You were totally right to kick her out. Not the asshole. What kind of prank was that? It was incredibly disrespectful and rude. It looks like the trash Emily those siding with her are taking itself out. Not the asshole. Emily is an ass not a true friend.